Hey, what's up YouTube, Sky Badger here, and I'm back with some tips and tricks in Call of War 1942. So today, I'm going to talk about infrastructure. Uh, so while I thought this was a pretty easy topic to cover, um, there are a few things I can say about it. I can start with, you know, your fairly basic stuff about infrastructure. Um, it basically allows you to increase resource production and the speed of which units can travel within that province. And that is kind of all I thought there was to say about it. Uh, but apparently, you guys want a little more information. So, how to use infrastructure. Infrastructure is something that you should be using from the very start of the game. Now, depending on your play style, there are other ways to uh, increase resource production. But how I use infrastructure is from day one, the first thing I do after I build my barracks is build infrastructure in industrial centers. So all my cities that have industrial plants, I then build infrastructure. And what this allows you to do is if you've immediately bought bar uh, barracks and then immediately built infrastructure and research light tanks, um, by the time light tanks are ready, you can start producing them. Um, now, as well as immediately putting infrastructure in your industrial centers, you should endeavor to try and put them in as many resource producing areas as possible. Um, early on in the game, there's no not much use for, for oil until you start producing tanks and aircraft. So at this point, your oil is just sitting around doing nothing. Don't sell it because later on in the game, oil is incredibly expensive. I've seen people do that before, um, allies have done it. You know, they've got all this money, but it's because they've sold the oil and they don't have any infrastructure. So, from the start of the game, put infrastructure in your cities so you can build light tanks early. Um, put it in resource producing provinces so you can boost your resource production. And then continue to upgrade it as the game goes on. So, when it comes to resource production, there are two ways, well, there's multiple ways to increase it. But the popular ones are um, infrastructure and industrial complexes. Now, I personally favor industrial complexes um, because you can produce troops from them, but they do cost rare material. So, a lot of the time, I end up opting for infrastructure because I don't know if you've noticed, but uh, rare in most games is pretty hard to come across and you should prioritize your rare on research. So, that leaves you with really just infrastructure. So. Just off the start, level 1 infrastructure boosts uh, production by 10%, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, if we have a look at that, um, level 1 infrastructure boosts production by 10%. Now, that might not seem like much, but by the time you get to level 3, it is worth it. So by the time you get to level 3 infrastructure, it is making a massive difference. Now, in this um, resource producing province down here that just happens to make oil, Although it's already got fully upgraded infrastructure level 3, it's producing 14,000 oil per day. Now, I'm not sure where it sat before this, but if I was to remove this infrastructure, it would probably be only making roughly 9,000 to 10,000 oil per day. And that is a massive difference. If you consider how much it costs to get it to this point, it could, having this upgraded, would almost only take 1 to 2 days for it to pay itself off in oil and that is a massive bonus and then everything after that is profit so build your infrastructure keep it upgraded get it as high as you can i see too often people just spam troops they don't use oil to build infrastructure and then their resources get low and you know they think wow i have like no resources to spend i must have a massive army and then they see me and, you know i've somehow got positive 200 oil massive army way bigger than theirs and they're like how the hell did you get that like you know they accuse me of using gold but it's because you keep your economy up to date and you keep it strong so you know that's production um level one 10 percent level two 30 percent and level three 50 percent um why is that occasionally better than uh, industrial complexes because industrial complexes cost rare material at first and then it takes five levels and it takes a lot longer to build up to level five to get that 50% resource production. So, 
The next part is speed, and um, this is the part that I actually don't know too much about. Um, you know, pretty obviously I can uh, look at the stats and I can say, well, when um, friendly land units are on this, they're going to get a 50% to unit speed. And that's really all I can say about it is, um, occasionally I will build infrastructure in provinces such as mountains, where speed is very important because in provinces with mountains, units travel a lot slower. So it is important that you do have high level infrastructure to make up for this. These are the only provinces where I build infrastructure where there is no resource production, unless of course you're on a map by yourself and uh, you have basically nearly unlimited resources. Then you can build uh, infrastructure everywhere. Um, looks just looks nice. Look at the look at that railroad. Like it's yeah, it looks nice. Um, so yeah, um, if you have the ability to. Build infrastructure in mountainous provinces, especially ones that you send troops through often. That is really the only other place I'd build it. Depending on the level of the infrastructure, the lines that your troops will travel along look different. So if you're invading an enemy province and you're on railroads, it's level 3. Um, if it is a dark kind of line like this, that's level 2. Yeah, that's right. Um, and I don't think there's any examples of level 1, but level 1 infrastructure, basically these lines just get a little bit darker. Uh, do I? I'll, I'll have a look, see if I can have any promises with working level 1 infrastructure. I don't think I do. Ah, here we go. What does it look like? Yeah, just darkened lines. Um, so that's how you can tell, but more easily to check. You can just click on the provinces and ha, huh, there we go. That's the infrastructure it's got. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching.